Here is a CAN chart that represents the major activities of a construction project. First activity is foundation. This activity will start on 10th of June and will end on June 14th. That means this activity needs 5 days for completion. Coming on to the chart, this bar represents the duration of the activity called foundation and the number of days required for this activity is displayed on this bar. After that walls, roof, doors and windows, plumbing etc. The project will start on 10th of June and will end on 15th of July. Now let's change some of these dates and see what happens. 27th of June. See the chart updated accordingly. So if you have the start dates and end dates of the different activities of a project, they can be plotted on a chart like this. Now let's see how to do that. Here is another activity list similar to the one we saw a moment before. First column contains the name of the activities. Second column has the start date of each activity. End dates are in the third column. Now to calculate the duration of an activity, equal end date minus start date plus 1. Enter. Formula written 11. So the duration of the activity which starts on 27th of January and ends on 6th of February is 11 days. Now let's copy this formula into the cells below. And we have the duration of each activity. For the ease of understanding, I will change the formatting of these dates. We will select these cells containing dates. Right click. Format cells. Custom. Now type in this code. DD hyphen MMM. See we have the day and name of month. Okay. Now to display this data as a Gantt chart, select the first two columns of this table, that is the column containing activities and start dates. Go to the insert tab, insert column or bar chart, 2D bar, stacked bar. All the activities in this table are displayed as the vertical axis labels of this chart. But on a closer look, we can see that the activities are listed in their reverse order. So to put these activities in the correct order, right click on the vertical axis labels, format axis, axis options, categories in reverse order. Now the activities are in the correct order. To display the duration of each activity on this chart, select the chart. Go to the chart design tab, select data, select data source, click on add, see a dialog called edit series is activated. There are two input boxes in this dialog, one for naming the data series which we are adding to the chart and the second one for selecting the data series. In this case I want to name the data series as duration, either I can type in duration in this input box or I can select this cell containing the text duration. Now to select the data series, click on this app arrow, select the cells containing duration, down arrow, ok, once again ok, and this orange bars here represents the duration of each activity. Now to hide these blue bars, right click on any of these bars, format data series, fill and line, fill, no fill. See the blue bars are gone. Next we have to modify these horizontal axis labels. We know that the project starts on 27th of January and end on 28th of March. But the horizontal axis labels on this chart start and end on different dates. So to modify the dates on this horizontal axis, right click on the horizontal axis labels, format axis, axis options, in this input box against minimum, type in 27th of January, 27 hyphen J A N, press the tab key, see the start label on the horizontal axis got updated. Now for the end date, 28 hyphen M A R, end. 
to display the duration of each activity on this bus, right click on a bar and data labels. To change the color of the data labels, select a data label, font color, we'll make it bold. Now to change the color of these bars, right click, fill, Now let's modify some of these dates. See the chart code updated. Now if you want this table to be displayed in this chart, select the chart, chart elements, data table. So our Gantt chart is ready. The vertical and horizontal axis labels can be formatted in the way you want to see it.